hello and welcome to vlogmas day 22 hope everybody is doing well i am home at last and yeah we're just cooking some dinner we got this from lidl the other day and we were supposed to cook it yesterday but obviously i have to go to uh, my christmas dinner um but this is a smoked ham joint which has already been cooked uh, it's from Aldi, pre-sliced as well, apparently. So we're making some mash because I had a real craving for mash the other day. <laughs> um, so we're having that with some gravy. And yeah, and then we're trying to decide what to do. David's here. Yeah, we're trying to decide what to do, whether to bake, play a game, do a jigsaw because I bought a jigsaw from the works the other day because it's on sale at the moment um, I bought this one which is £7 reduced to £3.50 so yeah I've been wanting to get a festive it's not the exact one I wanted to get <laughs> I was being cheap because <laughs> the other one I wanted to get was £7 I think um, but or was it £10? I think it was ten pounds. Yeah, in Smiths, they buy one get one half price. Really? But it doesn't say what the price is. Uh, I didn't bother. So yeah, trying to decide whether we want to play a game. Um, oh yeah, the game in question that we're thinking about playing is this one. What do you mean? Which I've seen on TikTok and it looks really fun. So we're thinking, should we test that out? Because we don't know if people want to play games on Saturday or not. Um, so yeah, jigsaw, game, uh, baking, and we're going to watch a Christmas movie as well. We're either going to watch Elf or National Lampoon. But yeah. Oh my god. Okay, I am a pig because I have a crap ton of mash on my plate, but I don't always finish it. But yeah, this is dinner, and we're about to watch... Oops. I have a baby <laughs> who is lying on me. She's lying on my belly as a pillow. Because apparently it's nice and squishy. It's <laughs> groovy. <laughs> we just watched a uh, Christmas vacation. National Lampoon Christmas vacation. It's funny as ever. Yeah. We do like that, don't we? We certainly do. Yes, yeah, so that you were Passive, falling aggressive. asleep for a little bit. <clears throat> well, yeah, it's been a long day. <clears throat> when I have to wake up at the arse crack of dawn, so even though I'm not working, I'm still waking up at the arse crack of dawn. So. It's a tough one. Oh dear. Oh dear. Sleeping with a little Murray Christmas. Murray Christmas, everyone. Oh dear God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, Bobby. Yeah, so I'm not sure if we're going to do anything. Because we're kind of stuck with these things. You certainly are. Mm. Although she's very warm, so she's warming me up, which is nice. The heat is We've not had this for a while. We've never had this. They have never well, gathered. Oh, what together? Well, for a long, 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 long time. Oh, so were we disturbing you? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But in some good news, I'm getting to finish early tomorrow. Should be finishing around one o'clock, which is good. So, should be able to go shopping with David, which should mean maybe you don't need to get up at the Oscar Academy tomorrow. 
<laughs> yeah, so. Oh, oh, God, phone's over there. I found something that I thought might be interesting to talk about in the lead up to Muppet Christmas Carol. <laughs> um, but it's on my phone. So, I'll have to get to that later. <laughs> in the meantime, I shall leave you with the belly. Bow bow. Show everyone how pretty you are. Show your pink lips. Show your pink lips. Show your pink lips. <laughs> you is a blur. She's really blurring on her. Doesn't. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, look at her. Where's the men? Many men. You're not even sleeping, you're just lying with your eyes open. Being lazy, you slept all bloody day, didn't you? Did you sleep all day? Boop, boop the snoot. Boop the snoot. Boop the snoot, 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 snoot. <laughs> Put a finger in your mouth. <laughs> God. Right, so. I have something festive to contribute. <laughs> um, which is eight facts about the Muppet Christmas Carol that every Muppet fan should know. So I thought maybe we could read some of these in anticipation for our Christmas Eve showing. Can I help you? Okay, so. <laughs> um, fact number one. A lot in that walk. So making Kermit walk took 10 puppeteers, or is it Muppeteers, a huge challenge for director Brian Henson, son of Jim Henson, who had passed just two years earlier. The film was even Brian Henson's directorial debut. Yes, I knew, I knew that bit. Mm. Yeah, I figured it would take a long, like half of them to make him walk, because you physically see them, mm. like, whereas the other ones you don't really no. get to see. <laughs> Cool. Number two, I think, has to be my favourite. Um, in the Muppet, right? So, in the Muppet movie, a shooting star flies over Kermit the Frog. According to Brian Henson in the film commentary, the shooting star that occurs in the Muppet Christmas Carol is a direct nod to his father's Muppet film. According to Mental Floss, a shooting star can be seen in other Muppet films, such as Muppet Treasure Island, Kermit's Swamp Years. Uh, it's a very mu very Muppet Christmas movie and The Muppets. How many did he do before he passed away? I thought Treasure Island came out after Christmas Carol. Mm, don't know. Oh. Okay, cool. <laughs> Number three. Uh, aside from all of the wonderful Muppets that make their appearance, Michael Caine, who plays Ebenezer Scrooge, takes what could be a serious role, or even a goofy role, due to The Muppets and blends perfectly into the story. He was especially shocked when he found out that this was Brian Henson's first time directing a major film. Mm. Kane took the role very seriously and it still remains one of his most memorable to this day. Yeah, he said if he's going to do it, he's going to play it serious. Yeah. He said he doesn't want to be, not not a Muppet, but yeah. Yeah, that's only slapstick. Idea. Yeah, that was his condition. I think I read on IMDb. Mm. So yeah. Cool. Number four, step aside Kermit. <laughs> Though Kermit the Frog has a huge role throughout the film, this would be the first Muppet film where he was not the lead. It would be Michael Caine, who of course would be the lead for the film. Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, number five, what's left? This is not actually a movie specific fact, but a fun one you may notice throughout this, and many other Muppet films. Many of the Muppets are actually left handed due to the puppeteers being right handed with the ways they have to manoeuvre the, the Muppets. Oh, uh, yes, I suppose they use the right hand to control the body, like the actual frame of the body yeah. and the left hand. Yeah, that would make <laughs> sense, actually. Yeah, no, I like that. Number six, what the Dickens. For those who may not know, Gonzo plays Charles Dickens, not involved with the story, but featured as a narrator. Because of this, Brian Henson has been quoted as saying that 
Probably 95% of his dialogue is Dickens prose and maybe 5% are little asides and quips that we threw in there. It's a great touch that truly brings the story that historical perspective. Oh. I mean, I liked Gonzo as Charles Dickens. With Rizzo as his little sidekick. Yeah. <laughs> Number seven, the Kane name. It may surprise some fans that Michael Caine's birth name is Maurice Joseph Micklewhite. Huh. At the final musical scene, you may notice a story in the background called yeah. Micklewhite, a lovely tribute to the great actor. Yeah, I know that one. And finally, number eight, Made for TV. Did you know that this film was originally intended to be a TV special? It ended up having its debut in theatres, but the film competed with Home Alone 2 Lost in New oh, York, which oh. also came out during Christmas of 1992. Yeah, a shame really because it would have done a hell of a lot better. Yeah, I saw a timeline and I saw that it was it came out with uh, Home Alone and I was like, Ooh, poor film. But films did that then; they weren't as um, I don't want to say as competitive, but there wasn't like you look at it now. So Marvel's the best example. Marvel will have a, a film schedule, yeah, and if they know that like there's a <laughs> I don't know, like a Jurassic Park or there's a yeah. A, 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 Put it this way, I think it's one more film. It's calculated now. Yeah, but one film actually got pushed back because of the Batman. Hmm. Because there's no, I think the Batman trailer dropped, the buzz went me went mental, and the Marvel went, yeah, we're just going to move our film somewhere else. So mm -hmm. now, yeah, so nowadays they do it to ensure all of the maximum profit. Hmm. Whereas back then, it did a bit different, I guess. Just came out when it came out. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, those are the eight facts. Um, what did you guys think? Are you still excited to watch Muppets? Yeah, of course. Muppets is, is tradition. You know? I think because Michael Caine does play it so seriously, it, it's, just, it's just good contrast, you know, between the wacky stuff going on in the background yeah. and actually being a serious narrative. And, um, well, his job great. was in a rubber chicken factory, his first job. Exactly. Or yeah. was he apprenticing in a rubber chicken factory? He was the accountant at a rubber chicken yeah. factory, wasn't he? Yeah, but an apprentice, wasn't it? I think so, then yeah, he must have worked his way up. Mm. I suppose. <laughs> Fozzywig's rubber chicken factory. Yeah. Or wasn't it Mrs. Fozzywig? Maybe, by the way, Fozzywig's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. You may take that one. Thank you. Oh, okay. Now, for the moment. Can you see him? Bum, ba, ba, bum, <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus, oh shit. Oh, damn it. Of course I'd miss him falling off the bed. <laughs> oh, but I think that is going to be it for tonight. <sighs> Sorry it wasn't overly festive, <laughs> but oh, don't. I've got to sleep, I think. Shit, crap, I've got to get something. Okay. God damn it. Damn it. The nuisance. But yeah, um, hope you enjoyed those snippets about the Muppets. And yeah, um, two more days of Vlogmas left. And then we can relax. Although Friday's going to be busy, isn't it? What do you say? Friday. Oh, yeah, probably. <laughs> Alright, guys, we'll see you in the morning. Or well, tomorrow. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Thank you.